So my story starts about 20 years ago, and, and the, the plane landed only about five years ago. So let me fill you in between. 20 years ago, my dad, who is Zig Ziglar, and I, we were flying to an event. He was going to be speaking, and I got the cool job of carrying the bags and doing the product table in the back and all that stuff. But there's a lot of benefits to having Zig Ziglar as your father. So we're on this plane, and we're flying out there, and Dad had this routine, and it's an amazing routine. He would get on the plane, and he would get this manila folder out of his briefcase, and he'd put it right next to his seat. The flight attendant would come by, and he'd tell the flight attendant, hey, I'm about to take a nap. My seat belt is belt, you know, it's all buckled up. You don't need to wake me up to ask me to uh, buckle my seat belt. He said, I don't need anything to drink. I'll ask you if I need something. And then Dad could literally fall asleep while the plane was at the gate. And he would just conk out, right? And he'd be over there just snoozing away. The plane would taxi out. He's still snoozing. We take off. He's still snoozing. And then you know that sound that the wheels make when they go underneath? Mm, that was his wake up. So he'd wake up, and he'd put the tray table down. He'd get that manila folder out, and he'd start going over his notes. And so I've seen him do this a lot, right? But, you know, you see something, but you don't really inquire. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? He said, son, I'm working on my speech tomorrow. And I said, Dad, you've given this speech like 3,000 times. I mean, literally. What are you going to do? And he said, well, son, there's two reasons why I'm doing it. And I said, well, Dad, tell me that. He said, the first reason I'm doing it is there's going to be some people in that room who've never heard me speak before. I've got to be the best I've ever been tomorrow. He said, if I'm at the top of my game, if I give them everything I've got, maybe, just maybe, someone in that audience will respond. They'll take a little bit of truth or wisdom. They'll take it home. They'll try it out, and they'll get a different result. And maybe, just maybe, that'll be the spark that sets them on a new path. And so I said, well, that's pretty good. What's the other reason? He said, son. He said, I was talking to the VP of marketing, the VP of sales, and the owner of this company about two weeks ago on a conference call, and they kind of gave me insight to the meeting. You know, there's going to be all these salespeople here from all over the country. This is their kickoff meeting for the year. They've got big goals. They gave me some insight. And he said, plus, I was reading in USA Today and some other articles about their industry, and I think if I can just weave just a couple of things into my speech that pertains specifically to this company, these salespeople, and the goals they have, maybe, just maybe, somebody in that room is going to know I took the time to make it personal, and they're going to take a little bit of advice, they're going to search out that truth, they're going to go out and apply it, and it's going to put their life on a new direction. And I thought, wow, that's pretty good. So we go, and it's a great event. Fifteen years go by. We're in my office now. Dad's at the end of his life. He's, you know, he's, he's winding down with grace, and he's, he's not really speaking anymore. And we're working on the last book that he wrote, which was Born to Win. And I sit there, and I've got a chapter in the book. And so you know when you get older that your hearing gets worse, but your listening gets better? <laughs> so we're, like, just sitting, like a few feet across, and I say, Dad, I know what you say is the number one reason for your success, but what's the number two reason? And he looked at me and he said, son, it's PC. Well, if you know the Zigglers, you know it doesn't mean politically correct, right? And I kind of knew where it was going, but I was listening now. So I said, Dad, what does PC mean? And he says, persistent consistency. And I said, Dad, explain that. And he said, well, son, it's simple. He said, consistency is when there's a worthy goal or objective. And that means that you're going to work on it every day or as often as necessary until you achieve that goal. You see, that's what he was doing when he was on that plane because he studied and worked three hours every single day to bring new material in so that he could change and impact people's lives. And every speech he ever gave, he, he studied and worked on it and prepared at least three hours. You see, that was his consistency. And then he said, son, there's persistency. And persistency simply means that whenever you do something, the first time was good, you do it. The second time, you take it up a notch. The third time, you take it up a little bit more. He said, it's like if you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to you know, get in shape and you're trying to exercise, the first day you might go out and run and you might run a block. That's great. He said the next day, go out and run a block and a mailbox. And the next day, go out and run a block 
and two mailboxes. You see the impact that little story has? Because what dad was doing by weaving that new information in is he was taking it to the next level. And so that's when that 15-year time span between that plane ride and that one-on-one talk with dad made sense to me. The secret to business is persistent consistency. You see, you set your goals and objectives out there, things that you want to achieve, and you have these measurable things, and you do them every day. If you're in sales, it might mean that you're going to make 30 calls a day. That's fantastic. But you got to take it up a notch. You see, the second day you make those calls, you add in a new question. You add in something new to the formula to find out what that response is. Because it all comes back to a story. We took off 20 years ago. I watched this behavior, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool that Dad works that hard. But you see, he was really giving a formula for success that any of of us can follow.